Ooh, hold on one second, please. Daniel Taylor, DBA Bulldog. You did what? You dropped or deleted your database from your managed instance? That's okay, because we're going to recover that for you on today's Tales from the Field. Good day, wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. If this is your first time finding us on Tales from the Field, give us a like and use a subscribe for all those new viewers, as well as those loyal subscribers. I want to tell you what, this is a safe place to be because if you're planning Whamageddon that started on December 1st, I can guarantee you that I am not going to be playing Wham's Last Christmas here in our content. Speaking of content, we have content that drops on Mondays, Tuesdays on Wednesdays. On Tuesdays, we have this wonderful thing called the round table where we put together links, blogs, and posts by you, the MVPs of the Azure data community for the Azure data community. We also do this thing on Mondays and Wednesdays called MS Tech Bits, where we put together a video on something that we've learned or from one of your blog posts that we may have read. You're watching one of those now. Let's get over to it. In a previous scenario, we needed to restore a database because somebody dropped some of our tables or deleted data unexpectedly. In this video, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna restore a database that has been deleted or dropped. Here you can see we're gonna restore from a deleted database and we're gonna restore to an existing managed instance. I once again recommend you go over and look at the permissions required to do this. And if we continue to scroll down here, we're gonna go by the restore an existing database. That's what we did in our previous scenario. But in this scenario, we're gonna restore a deleted database. So here we're gonna zoom in a little bit. We're gonna do an Azure CLI restore of the database, and we're also gonna restore the deleted database or drop database from the portal. For the drop database scenario, first we're gonna do it from the portal. On the left-hand side in our play, we're gonna select backups. It's gonna take it to the screen. We're gonna select deleted radio button up here, and then up top, we're gonna to select restore our Stack Overflow 2013 LRS continuous database. This will take us to our Create Azure SQL Managed Database screen. We'll fill in our subscription, our resource group, and we will fill in the database name that we want to restore our dropped or deleted database to. We'll leave point in time restore selected. We'll fill in our subscription, resource group, managed instance. We'll use for our managed database, the Stack Overflow LRS Continuous. We'll go to security, we'll leave as is. Additional settings, we'll leave as is. We'll go to tags. We'll put in some information here so we can find this easier later. We'll go to review create. On the review create screen, we'll make sure everything is as we expect it to be and we will hit create. Once we hit create, it's going to take us to our deployment screen. It should look something like this or similar to this in your environment. Well, this is taking place though. Let's flip over to Azure Data Studio. Here in Azure Data Studio, we can see our database is restoring. Our drop database is being restored. We can go to a good old DM exec request and we can see on the screen that about 5.6% of our drop database through the portal restore is in progress. However, while we're waiting on that, let's go over here to Cloud Shell and let's look at CLI. The first command in CLI we want to run is AZ SQL MIDB list deleted. We're going to put in our resource group name, our managed instance name there, and I'm going to do a query here and I'm going to output that to a table. I'm going to run that. It's going to provide us information about our deleted databases. Most importantly, we're going to focus on the Stack Overflow 2013 LRS continuous and the date there that it was deleted. Next thing we're going to run is AZ SQL MIDB restore. We want to get the database back. We're going to fill in the database name that we had on the previous screen. And for the time and deleted time, we're going to use that same value that we found on the previous screen. Once again, we can switch over here to Azure Data Studio on our jump box. You can see that our continuous drop portal has been restored and that our CLI restore is in progress. We can check on our CLI restore progress here by looking at SysDM exec request. And you can see it's about 18% complete. 
So when this is done, it's going to look like something like this on your screen. You're going to see output. It's going to have a JSON dump to your screen when it's complete. It's going to look something like that. We can go over here now, once again, to Azure Data Studio. And look at that. We can open up our databases, which allows us now to call our folks in this particular scenario, the deleted database scenario, and let them know that their databases are recovered and back available for use. Yeah, Daniel Taylor, DBA Bulldog. I just want to let you know that we were able to recover your managed instance database that was accidentally deleted. Oh, you have a wonderful day as well. All right, there we have it. Another item to add to our checklist. We were able to restore our database that was deleted from our managed instance by going in through the portal and selecting that deleted radio button. We also showed how we could use AZ SQL MIDB restore by adding a parameter at the end, deleted time, allowing us to restore our deleted database that way as well. Hey, could we say we're the heroes in this case? Maybe we just could. You know where we like to keep this going in the comments down below and always be good to each other. And the steps you take them, I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, 